What's up guys, today I'm going to go through how to create this LumaKey glow effect. If you want to skip all the editing then I'll leave the effect preset download link in the description. So here's my raw video clip. The first thing I'm going to do is copy and paste the video, hold option on my keyboard and then just click and drag the video clip up which will create a copy of it. And then I'm going to go over to my effects tab and I'm going to go to the mask and keying and I'm going to drag the LumaKey effect onto this. And I'm going to go up to the Luma key and I'm going to set the sliders here into the middle. And then I'm going to go to the color board and add a color board and make sure the color board is above the Luma key in the effects. And then if we open up this color board and if I slide the exposure up and down, we'll start to get this sort of glowing effect, which moves across the video. Let's keyframe the exposure. So we get this effect happening throughout the video clip. So up here, we can press the keyframe button and then move to the end of the video clip and move it down to where you want the effect to stop. So now if I play this back, we have this sort of light glow effect. So from here, I'm going to add a glow effect and I'm going to add the glint glow effect to this and change the settings so that we have a nice glow. I'm also going to tweak the Luma key sliders to also get a different effect. And yeah, that's pretty much the effect. What we could also do is isolate the subject. So I'm going to add on the Emroto AI effect. This effect plugin is from Motion VFX. I'll leave the link to it down in the description. It's a really easy way to mask out parts of your video. So once you add it onto your video, you just need to click and paint onto your video clip the part that you want to mask out. And let's just get rid of these effects for now. So I'm just going to click and paint around the part that I want to mask out. And then if you hold down option and click, you can just get rid of the parts that you don't want. Once the subject is all highlighted, you can click the tracker button and just track forward and back. And you can see how quickly it masks out the subject and go back. And it just works super quick. So once the tracker has done, then we go over to the effect and go to output and go to mask video. And then if I turn back on my effects, we now just have that glow effect affecting the car. So then we can also invert the mask and just have the effect happen on the background, which also looks super cool. I also use this effect to create the glowing light effect on the back of the car here. To do that, what I did was copy and pasted my video clip. And then on this top layer, I'm going to add the Mroto AI effect. And then I'm just going to click and paint where I want this glowing line effect to be. Go to the tracker and track that forward and back. So now we have that masked out Roto AI effect. I'm going to go to output mask video. Then I'm going to add a color board and on the exposure, I'm going to turn the exposure right up so that the tail light goes white. And then I'm going to add a shape mask to this. And then I'm going to keyframe the shape mask so that it wipes across the tail light. So I'm going to go to the beginning of the video clip, hit keyframe button on the shape mask over here, and then go to the end of the video and just move this shape mask over the tail light. So now we have this sort of wipe effect on the tail light. Now all I need to do is add a glow effect to this. And then just change the settings until I get a glow that I'm happy with. And we can also change the settings on the roto effect, maybe turn down the shrink and up the blur so we get a smoother line. So now we have this glowing line effect on the tail light. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe if you liked it and I'll see you in the next one.